Hey guys, Ryan here from Prognuts. We're doing a wee quick whistle stop tour of all our kind of gear that we use. We got a lot of questions, so it's probably easy to address a lot of these kind of things um, as we, you know, can be bothered to really. So I'm going to talk to you about the most important, the most dangerous, and the most scariest part of quadcopter ring charging. So this is my charging setup. Now initially, when I joined the hobby, I was using a cheap charger. Dun -dun, for airsoft lipos. Now this is a um, 50 watt per channel, 4 channel lipo charger and when you only have about 5 batteries it's fine, you can charge it more or less 2C on a 1300 um, quite happily but as you start to build up your batteries and start to fly more it's a real pain in the backside spending all day charging. This is now a field charger underneath here where my big finger is we've got two 16,000 4S so 16 ampere they just run in parallel to a very dangerous bit here. It's easy if you lick this. Actually, there's supposed to be a bit on this. Right, don't lick that. Really don't lick that. Um, and it's just a standard four channel charger and a pelly case. And I love pelly cases. Back to this here. This is a bad boy. Fraser recommended this. He says it's the only charger you'll we'll ever need. And then he bought two because, because he can. Um, because he used to fly helis as well, apparently. So what happens with this is, this is feeding off a 25 volt. We go over here, whoosh, we've got two volts connected, eh, two volts. <laughs> two PSUs connected in series. This bit of aluminium, that's just for danger purposes mostly, but really that's just holding it there. So they're connected in series here. Heads up to Kieran Black, who wrote a really good article about this on the website. Feeded from AC, and this will give a stupid amount out. Kenny gave me these, I don't actually know how much they are. But I reckon easily it's about 2,000 watts of power out there. Above that, I've got another PSU, which is an 800 watt PSU, which is set up for 12 volts, so I can feed this other, you know, kind of Toys R Us charger off there if need be. Um, so basically, that plugs into there. So this 25 volts gives you the full 1,200 watt available. So basically, four channels on this at 20 amps per channel. Now, what that means is you can use the second most dangerous thing in quad copter ring, um, which is parallel boards. Now, a lot of debate about this really, um, but I'll explain to you properly how parallel charging is done. I really need a haircut. Right, parallel charging, don't be scared of it. Check every battery on a proper, proper battery checker and make sure all the cells are okay. Make sure that between each pack there's about 0.2 of a volt of difference. Now, some people say more, some people say less. I'm just telling you what's for me. If you die during this, it's not my fault. Check that every pack is within about 0.2 of a volt. Don't put on packs that are dangerous if you've got one that's slightly puffy. Don't put that on a charge. Charge it on its own, outside, on top of a slab with a fire extension near it. If you've got packs that are between uh, 0 volts of difference and 0 0.2 volts of difference, put them up. Now what's really important about parallel charging is that you plug them in the right way. And don't do what I've done before, which is, these are keyed. These are keyed the opposite way. In parallel charging, you're basically taking all your small batteries and making them into one big battery. So as far as the charger sees, the charger just sees one big battery. Only charge batteries of the same capacity, so 1300 to 1300. And don't mix the voltages, because that would just be silly. Now there's far better information online about this, so don't take my word for it. Don't do what I'm telling you to do. Look online and make your own judgments. Now back to showing you the charger thing. The, the and while we're on the subject of batteries, listen, don't store your batteries in a rubbish place. Store them in somewhere that if there was a fire or a battery, a cell went bad during the night. I don't know why it would do that, but, you know, batteries are unreliable. So we want to make sure that they're safe. We use ammo cans. So this is an ammo can. This one specifically, I think it's for a 50 cal. Um, but you can see here, I've got, you know, kind of older flight packs in here. I've got some old airsoft batteries. I've got my plane batteries. I've got this one here. Um, yeah, less said about that the better. You know, messed up fat shot batteries. The rubber seal around there as well. You don't really want these sealed up properly because if there was a fire, you really want the, the hot smoke to eject out. You don't want it to build up any pressure inside it. In this relatively new ammo can, this is where I keep all my flight packs. Now, don't store them like this because you can short it and make sure you cover these ends up. I'm taking these risks, I've been doing this for a while, and touch wood, 
Um, where's our wood? Um, touch wood, I've not done, I've not had an accident yet. You'd be better lining this with something that's non-conductive, so if you did have a shot out inside, it's not going to happen. I don't seal these up properly, because I think that, you know, if there was one to go there, then it would contain it. But again, I never ever charge my batteries without them being in view. I never even leave the room until they're all done and I make sure they're away. When I travel with my batteries, I always make sure I've got them in a LiPo bag. I never ever travel with them out with that because if you did have an issue, you want it to be contained. Never leave your batteries on charge without them being in attendance. Everybody's had a wee scare at some point. The advantage of having a charger set up like this is I can charge all my batteries in about 30 minutes and I don't need to, you know, for example, maybe I needed a wee jobby. At least I can, you know, pinch it for a little bit and keep an eye there. I never ever go out with batteries on charge and come back because, you know, accidents can happen. So take your own risks, but please don't leave your batteries unattended. Charge safely and I just remembered this. I better put this back on the fun button. God damn it. Just get safety.